The UK government is considering a generational tobacco ban with the smoking age rising by a year every year. So in a decade, a 25-year-old will be able to buy tobacco, but a 24-year-old will not. This ridiculous age-based discrimination raises questions of fairness between generations, but let's face it, it won't come to that. Within a couple of years, everyone will think the system is absurd, the anti-smoking lobby will call for a level playing field, and tobacco will be banned for everyone. So what are the implications of this? Well, firstly, the government rakes in a staggering £10 billion annually from tobacco duty plus VAT. That money will disappear from the treasury and non-smokers will have to pay more tax. Remember that contrary to popular belief, smokers contribute more to the state through tobacco duty than they cost the NHS. Secondly, the tobacco market will be handed over to criminal gangs and far from curbing smoking, the ban will create a huge black market and make it easier for miners to access cheap, unregulated cigarettes. Prohibition has a bad name for a good reason. Let's not go there. Dive deeper into this critical discussion by reading the full report from the Institute of Economic Affairs titled Prohibition 2.0, critiquing the generational tobacco ban at iea.org.uk.